another corpse thrown in the streets. Someone's playing a very sick game. Glad to see you again, Mr. Reed. Did you see what happened? No. I was coming back to the shelter from work when I heard an awful scream, and there was this man, dead, just in front of the building. You saw nothing at all? No. I told you, just that awful woman's scream. A woman's scream? Are you sure? Of course. It was terrifying. I thought it was my sister, so I ran. But it was a man I've never seen round here before. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. You again? What do you want? Did you see what just happened? No, I didn't. And I don't care. Really? Why is that? Because this sexist pig is one of the four men who blacklisted me. Good riddance, if you ask me. Well, I'll leave you for now. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. Good evening, Mr. Throgmorton. Dr. Reed, can I be of any assistance? Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? Did you see what happened to him? Actually, yes. He was thrown from the roof like a vulgar log. Why is it that you sound so... afraid? You didn't see it. He was dead before he hit the ground. The strength required to do such a thing will... It beggars belief. Who could have done that? Who? Well, a vampire, of course. Look, bite marks on the neck and lacerations here. There is definitely a vampire close by. Goodbye, and good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. I know this brooch. This is my mother's. A birthday gift from father. Twenty-nine Pretty Orchard Street. That's near Poplar's district. Why would this man carry off my mother's brooch? I must go there.
Tom has so much alcohol, he could keep this district afloat for quite some time. Locked, all right. Better go. Steady, boys. He's got one of them. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
29 Pretty Orchard Street. This is it. What's in there for me? There's been a fight here. <laughs> This window was shattered with violent force. Someone's been pulled through it and dragged through the street. Who could have done that? Where does this blood trail lead? This is the very flower my mother tossed on Mary's coffin. Someone is targeting my family. The marks on this woman's neck were made by the fangs of a vampire. Only a golden watch in her pockets. Her shoes and clothes are quite worn out.
Right then. It's a sick game. But given no choice in the matter, I might as well win it. I won't let you escape. You're very fast, but I'll catch you. What have you done? Vicar Larrabee? What happened? Demon! Hell Scourge! Son of Perdition! Vicar! <laughs> Vicar! Jonathan's no demon. He's just a soul. Returned from the dead. Like your Christ, Vicar. Mary? Is it really you? Oh, it's me, all right. Precious brother. What is Mother doing here? I'm gathering the family for a final reunion. All smiling, all dead. Thanks to the good Dr. Reed. Mary. Mother, say hello to your son. Hello, Jonathan. Mother, I... What do we have here, Mother? The prodigal son has lost his tongue. Our Jonathan always had the first and last word at dinner. The entertainer, the star of our show. I'm sorry. Let me explain. Shut up. It's my turn to do the talking. I have this nasty hole in my chest, Johnny. It needs to breathe. Of course. You can speak. My prayers went so long without an answer. My husband, killed in France. My child, carried away by the flu. My brother promising to return in his letters, then disappearing in thin air. 
I went from hospital to hospital. Cemetery to cemetery. Grave to grave. I've lifted every stone in London, searching for an end to the nightmare. And there you were. In front of me. On a dark pier. The hunger had taken me. The joy to have finally found you. I longed for your arms, a final happy ending to so much tragedy, to tell me all would be well again, as you did when we were children. <laughs> it was this filthy dock where you greeted your sister. I dug a tunnel from my grave with my fingers and teeth. Mary, I thought I had murdered you. I tried to end myself. We've been through the same horror. We are a disease, Jonathan. A sickness that corrupts all it touches. All we kiss, and all we kill. Look at me. Admire your ilk. I'm so sorry. Apologies will not suffice. I demand reparation. I want a miracle. Are you a miracle worker, Dr. Reed? No? <laughs> I'll show you mine then. The family Reed, reunited and complete, living forever in a red sea of eternal love. Time to go, Mother. Say hello to my son for Mary, me. Mary, wait. I have made friends with vital knowledge, vampires. We are not alone, Mary. With time, we can learn to live almost as we lived before. How long? What? How long will this masquerade continue? I've been watching you, all these knights in Whitechapel pretending you're still a doctor. You believe you're just fighting a disease, but it's you, the disease, Jonathan, you! I'm a scientist. I'll find a solution. Let our mother go, please. You're always the one to sway me to reason, Jonathan, but before your motivations were always pure, now you're tainted. Let her go! She has no part to play in this. <sighs> Very well. Have you heard our good doctor? You can go home, mother. Go home and rest in peace. Yes. I'll go home and rest. <laughs> it's so easy to make them obey or forget puppets for our pleasure. I've seen you have your fun. You are mad. Oh, so that's what I am, Doctor. Mad. I was beginning to wonder. I I've been hearing these voices in my head, one in particular, that of my dead brother. This is the reason I must kill you. Not for your betrayal. Not for our poisonous kiss. Not even for the lies you tell yourself. No. It's so that smooth and wicked voice will stop ringing in my ear. Mary. No, don't! Time to die, brother. And this time for... You've burned away Nurse Crane's mind. You're a monster. Jonathan, kill him. Revel in your true nature.
What have you done? I'm a woman. to bring this conversation to an end, forever. You know I will not play this game. Calm now, Doctor. Like a rabid dog. Or think you're performing an autopsy. Don't be ridiculous. I'll kill them all. The kind Doctor Swansea. The sweet little lass with hair of red. I am the Harbinger, bringing your punishment. Mary... Don't you see? This is not me. Flesh that never ages. All nightmare, no dream. Bring it to a close. Let me sleep. At last, I can forgive you. shed one last red tear for my fallen sister. I realize the entire world now revolves around this singular word. The epidemic that has stricken London is not the Spanish flu. It is transmitted through the blood via violent biting, turning survivors into frenzied immortals. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am a vampire. Born anew into an age of death and pestilence, while plotting factions close in around me, I am sworn to find the source of this epidemic. I am convinced greater perils are still to come. I know the answers I seek are hiding in our blood. <laughs> 